So David Michael Moses, and the other day I was walking in this store and a man saw my collar and asked, are you a priest? I said, yes I am. Are you Catholic? He said, well, I grew up Catholic, but I had problems with some of the priests, so I left. This is by far the most common reason I hear for why people have left the church, because they were bothered by something someone in the church did. In the Gospels, Jesus tells this parable about the kingdom of God. He describes a master who plants some seed, but during the night, one of his enemies comes and scatters weeds in his field. The master then has a decision to make. Does he rip up everything and start over again? Or does he allow the good seed to grow with the weeds and sort through everything at harvest time? Of course, it's an analogy for good people and bad people. Many of us would prefer if God had two fields, one for the good people and one for the bad people, but God just has one field. God just has one church. Of course, this is why people go off and start their own churches, their own fields, with just their seed. They don't like the people in this church, so they start a new one. Then that church grows and eventually gets some weeds too, so a group breaks off and starts another church, another field. Then eventually that church gets some weeds too, so a group breaks off again and starts another field, another church. They keep chasing this idea of a weedless church. That's why there are now 45,000 different Christian denominations in the world. 45,000. Can you believe that? We even have non-denominational churches. They don't even have a denomination because they don't want to be associated with any of the weeds that came before them. 45,000 different Christian churches. Is that the answer to Christ's prayer for unity? The greatest church isn't the one with no weeds. The greatest church is the one with members who stay faithful despite the weeds. Are there some bad Catholics in God's kingdom? Yes. Are there some bad priests in God's kingdom? Yes. But you know what? It's still God's kingdom. And I'd rather be part of a kingdom that God is building, despite a few weeds, than part of a kingdom I'm building, or you're building. And you know what? In the kingdom, there are also so many wonderful Catholics, and holy parishioners, and Christ-like priests. Don't pull up the whole field. Don't give up on the harvest. Don't abandon the church. Stay faithful and do your part to build the kingdom.